Hello and welcome to PLCCable.com. In this video we're going to be showing you our newest cable which is our Siemens MPI, PPI, and Profibus all in one cable. This one cable will communicate with all the Siemens CPUs. You can find more information on our website PLCCable.com. First we're going to open up our device manager and show you the cable. This one is not going to show up under ports. It's going to actually show up under somatic. Somatic devices. And it shows up as the PC adapter. If you have Windows 7 or newer and step 7 5.5 or newer I'm not sure what service pack that I have I think it's service pack 1 um, it'll show up in there automatically and the devices the device driver is already loaded so you don't have to do anything same thing with Windows 7 um, for the micro win so as long as you plug in the cable and you don't have a yellow asterisk here, it'll actually show up and that means your cable is already loaded so all you have to just plug and play. So first let's open up our micro win and we're going to upload a program and this is going to be using the PPI. There's no settings or anything on the cable so it's just all it is is software configuration and setup. Last time I used this PC, I was using COM3, which is our other cables that we sell. So let's uh, click on the S set PG PC interface. And it depends, this is on how fast your PC is and how much you have actually running on it. So this is our old one or not necessarily our old one, our other one which is the PC PPI cable and here as soon as I can find it it's this one now we're looking for the PC adapter properties local connection is your USB leave this all as default so as long as you set the PPI click OK this is letting you know that you were changing the adapter for your micro win and you changed it to a PC adapter PPI click OK now this is different the baud rate is 19.2 I'm not sure what it is on that CPU but we'll find out and then uh, leave everything just like it is and double click this and it'll actually scroll through the different ones and detect what address is active and which one's not so this one came up this is a 222 CPU that we're hooked up to and that's the properties of the CPU and the address is 2 the PPI address is 2 and that's done in the micro win software click OK now you're able to upload from the CPU to your PC All right, and that's it. It uploaded the program that was in there. This is just a test one that we do on our trainers. And that'll show you what we do. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the other one. And so I'll unplug the cable from the 200 after I shut down the micro win. No, I don't want to save the changes. Now we can open up step seven. And the first one I'm going to show you is going to be the MPI. 
this is uh, how you access the accessible nodes. Um, first thing we need to do, we're already set up on the Profi bus, but so let's just go ahead and change that and we'll set PC PG interface and let's change that over to the MPI so you can see that. Now we haven't changed unplugged the cable from the PC so everything in the device manager is still the same but what we're going to change this from now to the MPI and select OK this is letting you know again that we're changing the path on the S7700 and we changed it to the MPI just click OK now up here you can see the accessible nodes so if you click on this icon it's going to go out and it's going to scroll the the nodes that are accessible that are plugged in and if you're on a, a network it's going to show you the different ones this one here is the address is node 2 and we'll click on the blocks and you can see the lights flashing again on the cable and then this is showing you the all the data blocks and the file blocks and everything that's that's in side the, that's in the program so let's close this and I'm gonna move over since this is a, a DP2 I'm gonna move the cable over from the MPI to the Profi bus the DP set PC PG PC interface and again depending upon how, how many interfaces you have loaded on here that's what it'll actually scroll through now we're gonna change this to Profibus. I don't like using the auto for whatever reasons um, it just seems like there's errors and issues with it it's just a lot easier to to just choose whichever one you want it doesn't take it very long now we'll click on accessible nodes again the lights are flashing on the cable and then this one Profibus the node address is also two on this CPU click on blocks and again this is showing you all the all the blocks that are in there and that means that you're online with the CPU and it's time to start having fun if you have any questions you can email us or call us and you can find the cable again at plccable.com thank you and have a good day